all right now we are going to see about the new cases per day and how many number of countries got affected per day so we can get started as we did previously we are going to use their plotly bar plot so i'm going to plot here fig underscore c that's mean figure for confirmed cases then we have their px that's the plotly express then bar plot then we are going to use here day wise data and on the x axis we are going to use their date and on the y axis we are going to use confirmed cases and the color discrete sequence there we are going to use their active cases color and then we have their figure all right and uh, once we had their a figure underscore death is equal to i mean figure underscore d px dot bar then we have their day wise x is equal to date and then y is equal to deaths sorry this is not going to be deaths but uh, this is going to be number of countries if you remember there we had that number of countries all right perfect perfect that's the y is equal to the number of countries and uh, then we have their color discrete sequence and there i'm going to use that dth okay that's the death actually all right the one thing i remember here that uh, this color is a little you know the off color oh yes so i have not changed that so you can take the other colors from here as well like let's say the active cases we have here confirmed death and uh, recovery and the active cases let's go ahead and make some random uh, number here so i'm going to make that with hash some number i'm going to just generate six numbers there let's go ahead and plot it i think uh, that's not going to work here that should be inside actually a list well still it's not working let me see what's the error is there this says that these are the error uh, let's say if we can get this error i mean if we can update this to this equa yes all right so we have got here a different color for the death for 100 recoveries perfect now let's go ahead and uh, create here subplot so figure is equal to make subplots there i'm gonna create that rows is equal to one and then calls is equal to two that's mean one row two column and uh, then i'm gonna do their shared x axis is equal to false and then we have their horizontal all right horizontal spacing we have their horizontal spacing is 0 0.1 and then finally we have their subplot titles now inside that subplot titles the first i'm gonna put there number of new cases per day and the another one is number of countries all right perfect now let's go ahead and add these two traces inside this figure we can add that with fig dot add underscore trace and inside that we have fig underscore c all right so fig underscore c there then we have their data for zeroth column then we also need to provide their row number and then column number 
similarly we are going to copy it and paste it here there we are gonna provide column is equal to 2 and we also need to change this to actually this fig d although this could be something else so this is not um, uh, this fig d is not the country actually but anyway so with this we have got it and then finally I am gonna put there fig dot so alright so with this what we get there I think there is some error let me see what was the error this says that the colors uh, I think we have uh, mistake in color decision alright so there we have the number of new cases per day and number of countries per day which has got affected on everyday basis alright perfect so this is all about in this lesson thanks for watching I'll see you in next lesson where we will uh, talk about top 15 countries case analysis